Hi guys, this is Vijay and I hope you are doing well. In this video lecture, I am going to prove that according to hydrostatic law, the rate of increase of pressure in a vertically downward direction must be equal to the specific weight of the fluid at that point. The pressure at any point in a fluid at rest is obtained by the hydrostatic law. So, to prove that, here we are considering the small fluid element as shown in figure. Small fluid element at the z distance from the free surface and the shape of the element is rectangular. And uh, here we are considering delta A equal to cross sectional area of the element, delta z is the height of the element and uh, P is the pressure or intensity of pressure on phase AB and uh, z equal to distance of fluid element from free surfaces. Here we are considering the different pressure forces are acting on the fluid element as well as the weight of the fluid element. So the first pressure force on phase AB equal to P into delta A. We know that pressure equal to force upon area so force equal to pressure into area. So here we are considering the cross section area is delta A. So the pressure force on phase AB equal to P into delta A and uh, it will act perpendicular to the phase AB in the downward direction. So it is considered as a negative sign in sigma vertical equation. The second pressure force on phase CD equal to P plus del P by del Z into delta Z into delta A acting perpendicular to phase CD and it will act vertically upward direction so it is considered as a positive sign and third one weight of the fluid element we know that W equal to mg but uh, here the mass of the element is not given but we know that height of the element and area of the element so equation of weight W equal to mg it will be converted into volume so we know that density equal to mass upon volume so mass equal to density into volume so put the value of mass in equation of weight so weight equal to rho v g weight equal to density multiplied by volume multiplied by gravitational acceleration so the volume of the element equal to delta a into delta z where delta a is cross sectional area of the fluid element and delta z means height of the fluid element here we are considering all vertical forces acting on fluid element. So for equilibrium condition, here we are considering sigma vertical equal to 0. So the first vertical force, it will act on phase AB and it will act in downward direction. So it is considered as a negative sign and the second pressure force, it will act on phase CD and it will act on upward direction. So it is considered as a positive sign and uh, weight it is uh, act in downward direction due to gravity so according to the so for equilibrium condition sigma vertical equal to zero and according to the sign uh, the first pressure force on phase a b p into delta a and it will act in downward direction so here we are considering negative sign so minus p into delta a plus P plus del P by del Z into delta Z into delta N it will act in upward direction so it is considered as a positive sign minus rho into G into delta A into delta Z it is the weight of the fluid element and it will act in downward direction so it is considered as a negative sign we have already derived the equation of weight weight equal to rho V G where V equal to delta A into delta Z equal to 0. So further we simplified this equation here we separate the bracket so delta A is multiply with P and multiply with del P by del Z into delta Z. So we separate the bracket so further we simplified this equation minus P into delta A plus P into delta A plus uh, del P by del Z into delta Z into delta A minus rho g into delta a into z equal to 0. 
here minus p into delta a and plus p into delta a it is cancel out because both are same term. So the simplified form is del p by del z into delta z into delta a minus rho g into delta a into delta z equal to 0. Further we simplified this equation. So del p by del z into delta z into delta a equal to rho g into delta a into delta z. Here on left hand side delta a into delta z is there and also right hand side delta a into delta z is there. So cancelling delta a into delta z on both the side. So the simplified form is del p by del z equal to rho g or rho g equal to rho g equal to w where w is weight density of fluid. So this equation state that rate of increase of pressure in a vertical direction is equal to weight density of the fluid at that point. This is called hydrostatic law. So by integrating the above equation for liquids, we get integration of dp equal to integration of rho g dz. So the integration of dp is p and the integration of dz is z because rho and g is constant. So it is keep outside the integration. So p equal to rho g z where p is the pressure above atmospheric pressure and z is the height of the point from free surface. So here we prove that p equal to rho g z and